Hi, my name is Mani Alikani. I am the Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. The topic for today's discussion is how to set up a one couple system. If you remember from previous chapters, to uh, set up a one couple system, we need to make few decisions. The first decision is which target will receive the two contact point for the couple and which target will receive the one contact point for the force. In addition, we need to make a decision. What would be the size, length and material of the wire that is making the one couple system for us? Let's start with one example and evaluate all these elements. Assume we want to upright and extrude the molar. The rest of the dentition are in a good shape. It's clear that at this stage, I'm interested to apply a couple or moment on the molar. Therefore, I decided to set up a one couple system. In this system, the molar would be the target that receive a two contact point. The two contact point is produced by putting a bracket on the molar. Therefore, the other side of the one couple system should have only one contact point. If you remember from previous examples, we were just using a button on the, on the some of the target tooth. In this case, we just use a hook. Now, this system produces a couple on the molar, an extrusion force on the molar, and intrusion force on the anterior segments that act as my anchor unit. The bigger the size of the anchor unit, the less movement of the anchor unit in response to that intrusion force will be expected. On the other hand, the molar extrude and upright and that's what we want. Can we play with the magnitude of the force that is applied on the molar? What happens if I want to have less extrusion but the same amount of the couple? Can we change the one couple system to produce that? One answer to this question is to by changing the distance between the forces that applies on the anchor unit and the target unit. If you remember from the property of the couple, the more distance between the forces, uh, you can decrease the magnitude of the forces while producing the same amount of the couple. So assume we do that in this system. Assume instead of putting the hooks uh, between the premolars, I put it between the uh, canines and first premolar. The distance has been increased, therefore the magnitude of the forces can decrease. Also, we can play uh, the same uh, game by changing the material or the length of the wire that we are using. These are the two safest way to play with the magnitude of the force or control the magnitude of the force. Using the size of the wire, as we will discuss in future uh, discussions, usually is not the best way to control the magnitude of the force. While we can play with the size slightly, and we will, uh, the best way is to play with the material. So for example, if you wanted to apply lighter force, we will use night high wire. If you wanted to increase our uh, force a little bit more, we can use the TMA wire. And if you want to increase the force even more than that, we can use the stainless steel. If we want to control the size of the forces that we have, also we can add loops to our wires and uh, change the magnitude of the force that the uh, wire produces on the tooth. Play with the size of the wire uh, from this aspect is not very safe. If you are using too a small size wire, it's the wire can get deformed. Or if you are using too big wire, uh, you can produce uh, significantly high forces that may not be very biologically friendly. This is a one setup to apply a couple and force on a target unit. But what happens if our target unit just requires a force? Assume we want to move a canine labially. In that case, uh, our anchor unit should receive a couple and lingual force if you are setting a one couple system and assume that that's the molar. But what happens if I don't want the molar to move significantly? Well, 
we can again make a segment and uh, make sure that the couple and the force the lingual force is applied to the segment of course the segment we are expecting to move less in compare with when we have only one single tour so by pri proper design of uh, our one couple system we really not only can control which target receive a force or force or couple we also can control the magnitude of the movement uh, sometimes the one couple system can be used where both sides of the one couple system can act as a target and anchor for each other for example you like to intrude the canine and at the same time you like to extrude and operate the molar in that case if you just connect these two teeth with the one couple system uh, each side can act as a target unit and anchor unit for each other at the same time as you can see one couple system is a very a strong tool that can be used in orthodontics to very simply produce a major movements in a short period of time i hope you enjoyed another session of the Citor channel uh, the topic for the next discussion would be the application of v-band in orthodontics we start with the simple one couple system and v-band um, please subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so so far and please don't forget to like us by pressing the like button thank you so much